Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for great things he has done. We give God all the praise, all the honor is thine. Oh God, we worship you, we worship you today. Lord, we magnify you because you are great and you are greatly to be praised. Like the song says, all of the glory belongs to you. Hallelujah. All of the glory belongs to you. You deserve it. Hallelujah. You deserve it, Lord. You deserve it. Hallelujah. You deserve it, Lord. Oh, let's give God all the praise. Hallelujah. 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 Lord, we worship your name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And hallelujah to the king. We worship you, O oh God. And beloved, beloved, we are glad to be here tonight. Truly, God is everything to me. Amen. He's everything to me. I know he's everything to you. Amen. That's why we're doing what we're doing. That's why we're here tonight. That's why we're praising him. That's why we're blessing the Lord on today. Amen. We want to continue our study in the word on the preparation for the coming of the marriage supper of the Lamb. Amen. Saints, it's time to buckle down and do what we need to do to get ready for the Lord is on his way to return. He said, and when I come back, time I come back to the earth, will I find faith in the land? He wants to see that we have faith. He wants to see that we believe in him, that he loves us and that we love him. Amen. He wants to see, is anybody talking about Jesus, the goodness of God? Amen. And that's sharing the word with people that you meet day by day. Amen. And again, we want to just reiterate the marriage supper of the Lamb is coming soon to this city near you, which is in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, in Wauwatosa. Amen. On March the 30th, the end of the month at 1130 a.m., God's got his women lined up. They're going to show up. We're going to show up. We're going to be in the place. Amen. God's going to bless you and bless us tremendously. You just got to show up. Amen. And let God bless you. Amen. God's women of power and authority. We thank God for what he's doing right now. We, gave, we thank God for Pastor, amen, Cynthia Simpson, Patricia Bennett, Dr. Pastor Patricia Bennett, Dr. Brenda Kearney, and Dr. Grace Harris, Harris uh, Grace Jones, amen, Dr. Grace Davis here, excuse me, amen, we thank God for the women of God, and you know, it's a blessing to be among the blessed, those who are blessed, women in ministry, women that's seeking God, seeking the face of God, Amen. I know you're seeking the face of God. Amen. We love the Lord. And so it's a good thing to come. He said, how, how blessed, how, how beautiful, how lovely it is for brethren to dwell together. How? In unity. Amen. That's Psalms 133. Beloved. Amen. He tells us in his word, I'm going to go. Amen. I quote that one somewhere. He said, beautiful. He said, behold, how good and how pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in unity. How in unity. Amen. Let's go to the word of the Lord in Deuteronomy 28. We're going to get started. Amen. Deuteronomy 28. I want to make sure that you are blessed. Amen. By this word on today. Because this word is set up to bless you. Amen. God has given us daily bread. He said, he told, he told us to pray. Lord, pray this prayer. Father, give us this day our daily bread. Amen. The bread is what you need for that moment. That specific rhema word. Amen. And da daily he gives us his logos, logos word as well. So we want to pray God give us our daily bread. And here we go in Deuteronomy 28 and 2. The word of the Lord reads, and all these blessings, all these blessings shall come on thee and overtake thee. If thou shalt hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So what do we want to do? We want to hearken. Amen. We don't want nobody to say, oh, God is calling you. No, you answer God yourself because it's, it's a blessing to just be obedient. Just stand up on time. Rise up on time. Amen. Go where he said go. Do what he said do on time. Some of us don't know how to do it on time. And when we don't move on time for God, then we wonder why God does not move on time for us. We want God to move on time for us. Then we got to be on time for him. Amen. In the book of Ezekiel. 
these are some of the requirements and regiments that God is looking for us in the last days. We want God to use us. We want God to pour out his spirit. Send down on your anointing. Yeah, we want God to do all that. But what are you doing for God? I heard somebody sing, what have you done for me lately? God is saying, what have you done for him? Amen. We got to be on time for God. We got to worship him. We got to bless him. Ezekiel 34, 26. And the word of the Lord says in the 26 to the 27 verse, And I will make them and the places round about my hill a blessing, and I will cause the shower to come down in his season. Oh, wasn't that a, a, a shower last night? Did not God answer us last night? Whether we called him or not, he walked the place last night all over the world again. He showered and showed up. Didn't he do it? Yes, he did. I think he did the same thing last week, didn't he? And then God has shown you that he's still God on the throne. He controls the weather and everything. Amen. Let me read that again. And I will make them a make them and the places round about my hill a blessing and i will cause the shower to come down in his season there shall be showers of blessing Sh showers of blessing can you think for a minute what is that blessing you've been waiting for what is that the what is that car you've been waiting for what is that what is that job you've been waiting for what are what are those friends those people that you've been waiting for what is it that you've been waiting for? God said all that you've been waiting for. Amen. There shall be showers a blessing. Speak it. Believe it. Receive it. I got showers of blessings coming to me. Showers of blessing. Nothing lightweight. I got showers of blessing coming to me. And then the Lord told us his word. Oh, I love his word in Malachi. Amen. In Malachi, the third chapter, most people know right away. Oh, that sounds like the tithing chapter. And you're right. Three and ten says, and now also, amen. Oh, we know that's, I'm um, in Matthew. Let me go over there to Malachi, which comes before Matthew. I guess I overturned. Three and ten. Let me go back one more page. Three and ten. And the word says, bring ye all the tithes into the storehouse that there may be meat in my house and prove me now here will say of the lord of hosts if i will not open open you the windows of heaven how many are tithers how many are givers he said for those that tithe they get the choices blessing he said i will open you the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing that there shall not be room enough to receive it there will not be room enough, hallelujah, the windows of heaven are open to pour you out a blessing. There will be more in store for you than you ever imagined. I mean, everything that you believe in God for, God says, I got it for you. He said, and not only that, I'm going to give you a little bit, a little measure more. He said, 11 verse, for good measure, and I will rebuke the devourer for your sakes. And he shall not destroy your fruits of the ground, of your ground, neither shall your vine cast her fruit before the time in the field, says the Lord of hosts. God said, I will, re I will rebuke the devourer. Hallelujah. Whatever's eating your vine, whatever's eating your blessing. It's like you said, you put your money, your tithes in a bag, and it's like a hole that falls through. Come on. God said, I will rebuke. That's the devourer. I will rebuke the devourer for your name's sake. But you got to tithe. You have to give, amen, for God to, to loose the blessing. The blessing shall what? Overtake us. The more we give, the more the blessing is overtaking us. Before you look back, it's like this blessing came and that blessing came because you've been obedient. God bless those who are obedient. Amen. He, ble he blesses the obedient ones. Amen. In the book of Isaiah, we're going to go to the 19th chapter. Isaiah, the 19th chapter. And we're looking, uh, I'm sorry, 1 and 19. Isaiah 1 and 19. Hold on a minute. Oh, Isaiah, you know, it's not a hard thing to figure out. It's not a rest. I mean, there is a recipe, but it's not a hard thing to figure out. The more you love God, the more you want to do what's good. You, the more you want to give to God, the more you want to bless God. Because you can, what's the old saying? He's saying, you can't beat God given. You can't beat him given. So the more you give, the more he'll give to you. You just can't beat God given. 
Amen. One and nineteen says, Amen. He said, He said, if ye be willing and obedient, thank you, Holy Ghost. I was trying to let that come back to my recesses of my memory. He said, if ye be willing and obedient, are you willing? I don't know about Sha. Are you truly in love with God? Because if you're truly in love with God, you will be willing and obedient. You say, God, here's my tithe, and I give it willingly. It doesn't make no sense. Some people say, well, the more money I make, my tithes are bigger. I don't feel right giving my tithes. You better. Oh, my God, you better because God is an on-time God. The more you give to God, the, the songwriter is right. The more you give to God, the more he'll give to you, beloved. But you got to be willing and obedient. Oh, because if you're willing and obedient, it says here, 1 and 19 of Isaiah, ye shall eat the good of the land. The good of the land comes from those who are willing and obedient. God wants us to be blessed, but he can't make you. God's not going to, He know, he's a perfect gentleman. He's not going to make anybody do something that they don't want to do. God's been trying to position you to bless you. I said he's been trying to position you to bless you, but you got to be willing and obedient. Willing and obedient. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Adam and Eve had to be willing and obedient. And we know that, amen, when they were in the Garden of Eden, they did some things that was not right, and they missed the blessing of God. They missed the fullness of God. Oh, my God. Because if I go over to the book of Genesis, and I begin to look at the story of Adam and Eve, you know the story. Amen. Well, they passed the bug, one from the other. Well, God questioned man. He, he, went, to, he went to the head. He went to Adam. I, didn't you not know I told you don't eat from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil? He said, yeah, it was that woman. And then the woman passes on to the snake saying, well, the snake, beguiled me and he told me that the fruit was good to eat and that I would be like God I'll be wise oh my God the snake couldn't pass it to nobody and then so we then God start passing out amen punishments we have to remember that we belong to God and we want to be obedient so we can reap the goodness of God amen amen God's gonna bless you because you've been willing and obedient I said you've been willing and obedient i want to go to the word of the lord here and let's go to genesis 13 oh thank you god genesis the 13 chapter about the goodness of god 13 let's go to two uh sometimes we need an example we need to see a shadow of things to come we need to see a typology of what god is talking about to get the better understanding. So over in the book of Genesis, the 13th chapter, the second verse, it says that Abram, better known as Abraham, but before his name was changed, he was Abram. And Abram was very rich in what? In cattle, in silver, and in gold. In cattle, in silver, and in gold. Now, I don't know what you got in your wallet, <laughs> as the commercial says, but Abram had cattle. So that could be his vehicles, that could be his job. Did he on the side? He had silver and he had gold. Amen. You want to have what God wants you to have. God gets pleasure out of the prosperity of the of his people. God gets pleasure in the prosperity of his people. God delights in the prosperity of his people. And I'm saying it over and over again. God delights, oh God gets pleasure, gets pleasure in, in the prosperity, prosperity of his people. Now I'm going to say that over again. Hallelujah, 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 35 of Psalms, amen, Psalms 35 and 27, let's go over there really quick, just so you see that I'm not making this up, <laughs> amen. Psalms 35 and 27, 35 and 27, 35 Psalms, that's Job, oh, right, too early, 35 and 27. Let me just read that so you know God wants to see you blessed. He already sees you blessed, but he wants you to see, your, see yourself blessed. 35, 27, and let me go one more here, 35 and 27, glory to God. He said, let them shout for joy and be glad that favor my righteous cause. 
Yea, let them say continually, let the Lord be magnified, which hath pleasure, which hath pleasure in the prosperity of the servant. He delights in you being blessed. The devil don't want you blessed, but God sees you blessed. God says you blessed. Can't nobody take it. God made you blessed. You are the head and not the tail. You're above only and not beneath. You're first and not the last. God says you're blessed, and when you're blessed, you're blessed, beloved. Can't nobody take that away from you. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Amen. Let's go to St. John 6 and 13. St. John. Amen. You know, you got to see yourself. It's a, it's a mindset. You got to see yourself blessed. You got to see yourself driving that car. You got to see yourself, amen, in that brand new, amen, whatever you want to believe God for. Amen. RV, house, whatever. Amen. See yourself in that mansion. See yourself blessed. Amen. 6 and 13. Let's run there for a minute of John. And it says, therefore, they gathered to them together and filled the bath. Now, this is the miracle that Jesus had already wrought. Amen. With those who were believing God to feed the 5,000. Amen. You know, when you have men, that there's going to be double if you have children, women. Because children, I mean, women come with their children. And so it was more than 5,000, but it's recorded as 5,000 men. It says, therefore, they, they gathered them together and filled 12 baskets with fragments of the five barley loaves, which remained over and above unto them that had eaten. I feel God is working a miracle right now. He's, he had a robosha. He's stirring up a miracle for you right now. You just got to see it and believe it and grab it. Oh, grab hold to it. God's got a miracle. He's working right now out for you right now. It's a miracle. God is putting with your name on it. You got to just speak it forth. Believe it. He says, he said, God said they pick up the fragments and there were 12 baskets with fragments of the five barley loaves, which remained. And not only that, but the fish. Glory to God. Then 14 says, And then those men, when they had seen the miracle with, that Jesus did, said, This is of the truth, that prophet sh that should come into the world. Jesus is our blessing. He's our prophet. Hallelujah. That we have been able to profit. Amen. Because he is our chief prophet. He's our pastor. He's our prophet. He's a bishop of our souls. Yes, he is. Nobody but Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah to his days. Let's go to Psalms 121. Psalms 121. Amen. We're talking about the blessing of God. Amen. The, 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 the provision of God. Hallelujah. The promises of God. And they're eternal. They are eternal. Amen. 121 and 8 says, The Lord shall preserve thy going out and thy coming in from this time forth and even forevermore. God's going to preserve your footsteps. Hallelujah. Wherever you go, wherever you be, you're preserved. You're protected. Amen. You're anointed. Amen. You're consecrated. Amen. You're sanctified. You're covered under the blood of Jesus. Amen. You're anointed. Hallelujah. Oh, you and you're appointed. Hallelujah. The Lord shall preserve that going in and that coming out. Yes, he did. He said, you're blessed when you go in. You're blessed when I come out. Didn't he say it? Hallelujah. Because the Lord is good like that. Yes, he is. He is so good. Amen. The, songs, the, the songwriter wrote and said, he got so inspired. He said, God is so good to me. Hallelujah. All the time. We're blessed in every area of employment. We're blessed in every area on our jobs. We're blessed in the home. We're blessed in our own businesses. Wherever we go, whatever we do, we are truly blessed. Amen. Let's go to Genesis, amen, 39. Back to Genesis, amen, the 39th chapter. God is good. Hallelujah. And you got to see yourself blessed. I see myself running over with blessings, running over. My cup runs over. And blessings are chasing me down. Blessings are chasing me down. 39, hallelujah, and 5. 39 and 5. Because my mindset is in heavenly places with Christ Jesus. He said, amen, set your affections on things above, amen, not on things of the earth, which are the beggarly elements. Elements. 39 and 5 reads and says, and it came to pass from the time that he had made and made him overseer in his house. Amen. Joseph, amen, was made overseer over Pharaoh's house and over all that he had, that the Lord had blessed the Egyptian's house for Joseph's sake. And the blessing, there it is, the blessing of the Lord was upon all that he had in the house 
and in the field. He'll bless you in the house. He'll bless you in the field. You're going out. You're coming in. You're going this way. You're going that way. Wherever you go, you're blessed. Hallelujah. We're blessed in the city. We're blessed in the field. We're blessed when we come in, when we go. Hallelujah. Mm. And then what the songwriter said also, we're blessed, beloved. See yourself blessed. See yourself. And don't just see yourself blessed. Say I'm blessed. Talk only blessings. Don't talk about any curse. You're not cursed. You're too blessed to be cursed. Come on, say I'm blessed. Amen. You're blessed going in and blessed coming out. Oh, yes, you are. Glory. In Galatians, honey, in the book of Galatians. Hallelujah. The blessing of the Lord. The blessing of the Lord. Make us rich. And he adds no sorrow with it. Amen. In Galatians 3 and 13. Galatians 3 and 13. The blessing of the Lord. And the word of the Lord says, Christ hath redeemed us from the curse. There it is. We're not cursed. We're blessed. God has redeemed us. Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law. How did Christ redeem us? When he rose from the dead? When Jesus rose from the dead, the curse fell off. There was no more curse. He went back and got the keys to hell, the keys to death. Jesus took back and said, this is mine. Give it back. Amen. He said, Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law, being made of what? Curse for us, for a 400 year old. For it is written, cursed is everyone that hangeth on the tree. So when Jesus died on the, on the tree, he died in your place. He died in my place. So we don't have to be cursed. Amen, amen, we're too blessed to be cursed. So Jesus said, no more is the curse upon you. He said he took upon him all the curse, all the wrath, all the agony. Amen, we talked about that weeks ago. Amen, even in the Garden of Gethsemane, he took upon us, upon himself, all the curse, all the trials and tribulations. So we don't have to go through what, amen, he went through. Amen, all we have to do is rise up and be blessed. Amen, can you stand to be blessed? Amen, as the question went, can you stand to be blessed? Over in the book of Deuteronomy, huh? back over to Deuteronomy, 28th chapter in the first verse. This Bible is anointed and just speaking, it just literally turns there. 28 and 1 says, And it shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe and to do all his commandments, which I command thee this day, that the Lord thy God, will set thee on high above all nations of the earth. How shallow, God He going to set you above all nations, above the, um, and the nations of the earth. In which God's going to bless your ethnicity. He's going to bless your tribe. He's going to bless your home. He's going to bless your foreign no more. He's going to bless your children. Your grandchildren. Speak it blessed. See them blessed. Walk in the blessing. Talk the blessing. Amen. Eat the blessing. Amen. God wants you to know you're blessed. Indubitably. Amen. Is it in 1 Samuel 18? Oh, the word of God is good. Amen. 1 Samuel. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm reminded about little prophet Samuel. He said, speak, Lord, for thy servant heareth. Amen. And he began to speak. Amen. But his spiritual father, Eli, told him, speak. He said, you got to tell God what you want him to know. Say, speak, Lord, thy servant hear him. Many of us, we want God, we love God, but we don't know how to open our mouth and speak. You got to speak what thus says the Lord. God will respond. Amen. If you would speak it, but you got to speak what thus says the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. That's not the scripture I was looking for. Is it 17? 17. Let me try 17, 19. 17. This is it. It says, and it came to pass. I'm going to 48 verse. And it came to pass when the Philistine arose and came and drew nigh to meet David, that David hastened and ran toward the army to meet the Philistine. And the 49th verse says, and David put his hand in his bag and took thence a stone and slang it and smote the Philistine in his forehead that the stone sunk in his forehead and he fell upon his face to the earth. Don't you know favor is just waiting on you? For you had David ran to meet his enemy. You got to run to the blessing. 
Sometimes you're running to, amen, the blessing. It might look like, it may not look like a, a blessing because it's, it's in a disguise. But you got to be led of the Spirit and run with, when thus says the Lord. Do what thus says the Lord. And watch don't God bless you. You got to go in the strength of God, beloved. And watch don't God pour out and bless you. Literally pour out and bless you. In the book of Exodus, the 25th chapter, the 23rd chapter, rather. Exodus 23 and 22. 23 and 22. And in the word of the Lord, and see, the word of God is blessed because we're speaking the word of God. We're speaking it to ourselves and over ourselves and over our loved ones. Like, just like the blood of Jesus that covers us. The blood of Jesus is covered. Just like that. Amen. And it happens in the spirit because we spoke it. It happens. It manifests. How dare you? Oh, shout. The blessing is covering us. The blessing is covering us. The more you speak it, it manifests. You got to speak those things that be not so they were. You got to speak the blessing. Shout out. My bags are, are loaded down with money. I have more than enough to put in store. You got to speak it. You got to let it go. Amen. Exodus 23 and 22. But if thou shalt indeed obey his voice and do all that I speak, then I will be an enemy unto thine enemies and an adversary unto thine adversaries. That's the word of the Lord. God said, if you obey his voice and do all that I speak. You see, we learn how to speak it because God first spoke it. And after he speaks it, we speak it. We learn it from him. God is a speaking spirit. You, my beloved, are a speaking spirit. We're all speaking spirits. We have to speak what thus says the Lord. Once you begin to open your mouth, God said, open your, open your mouth. God said, I will feel it. If you want to see a blessing, open your mouth. You got to begin to open your mouth. And, and then it's like he said here, and he said, but if thou shalt indeed obey his voice and do all that I speak, then I will be an enemy unto thy enemies and an enemy adversary unto thine adversaries. In other words, God's got your back. He's got your back, beloved. But you got to speak what thus says the Lord. When you are a blessing of God, you are a friend of God, amen, you know, God said, get off of him. Get back. Get back. Get off of him. Hey, God. Hallelujah. Doesn't even have to go further. And it says in 27, and I will send my fear before thee and will destroy all the people to whom thou shalt come. And I will make all thine enemies turn their backs unto thee. God said, I will make your enemies turn their backs. Oh, Rasita Namasha. 28 says, And I will send hornets before thee, which shall drive out the Hittite, the Canaanite, and the Hittite from before thee. Ooh, God don't play. He said he'll send his army, the hornets. You read it. You heard it for yourself. That's Erebo Shandilios. Hey, Rabbi Shanda, God will fight for you. He has his own army. If you obey the word of the Lord, there's nothing too hard for God. There's nothing too hard for God. Oh, God will be an enemy to my enemy, to your enemy. God will be an enemy. And my enemies will turn and run. God said, I'll make your enemies turn and run. And then in Genesis 22, 13 through 14, 22, 13 through 14, it says, if it be torn in pieces, then let him bring it for witness, and he shall not make good that which was torn. Oh, my shine. And if a man borrow out of his neighbor, and if it be hurt, or die, the owner thereof bring not with it, he shall surely make it good. But if the owner thereof be with it, he shall not make it good. If it be an hired thing, it came for it came for his hire. No, God's got laws about things that people are trying to take from you. God said, No weapon formed against you shall prosper. And any tongue that rises up against you and touch and judgment, you shall condemn. Ain't no weapon, no weapon, no weapon formed against you. No weapon. And see, these are blessings that are choice blessings that are to his tithers. Amen. Those who are in the covenant that want to give God pleasure. 
Because God said, I give, I delight and I have pleasure out of the prosperity of my servants. He gets pleasure when you bless. Hallelujah. Oh, he loves to put a smile on your face. When you smile, he smiles. Exodus 15, 26. God, I know, I'm Shanta. He said, and, and said, if thou wilt diligently hearken to the voice of the Lord thy God, and will do that which is right in his sight, and will give ear to his commandments, and keep all his statutes. I will put none of these diseases upon thee, Hanra Shanda, which I have brought upon the Egyptians. For I am the Lord that what heal is thee. I am the Lord that heal is thee. Oh my God. Oh my God. I got to go over here to Exodus. I mean, the, 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 the 20th verse. Glory to God. And here we hear an example of what happened when you just begin to start running towards God and, and start to. Your tract of being obedient to God. Hallelujah. Here we have the, the sister who was a prophetess. Amen. A sister of, of Moses. Hallelujah. And she was in the 20th verse of the 15, that same chapter. It says, And Miriam the prophetess, the sister of Aaron, took a timbrel in her hand. And all the women went out after her with timbrels and with dances. With timbrels and with dances. Glory to God. So you got to praise the Lord. Even when you can't get a praise out. Try to praise him with all you have. Amen. With all your heart, with all your soul, with all your might. Amen. Beloved, I hope forward to see you next week. And at the end of the month, at the marriage supper of the Lamb, you be blessed. Shalom and shalom. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory. Hallelujah.